In the harsh landscape of Mars, a solitary robot diligently roves across the rocky terrain. This robot, NASA's Curiosity Rover, has been tirelessly exploring the Red Planet for nearly 12 years, collecting and analyzing soil samples with its sophisticated tools. Among its recent findings, the discovery of sedimentary organic material with peculiar properties has left researchers in awe. Could this Martian discovery unlock the secrets of how life's building blocks first formed on Earth? In a meteor crater on Mars, Curiosity's robotic arm carefully drills into the soil, extracting samples that could hold the answers to age-old questions about the origins of life. The latest samples have revealed sedimentary organic material with an unusual ratio of carbon isotopes, igniting a wave of excitement among scientists. Typically, such organic materials on Earth would suggest the presence of microorganisms. However, they can also be the product of non-biological chemical processes, leading to a scientific conundrum. For a team of researchers from the University of Copenhagen and the Tokyo Institute of Technology, this finding was the smoking gun they had been waiting for. Their study, published in Nature Geoscience, presents solid evidence supporting a decade-old theory about the formation of organic molecules on Mars through atmospheric photolysis. This theory, proposed by chemistry professor Matthew Johnson and his colleagues, posits that billions of years ago, the sun's UV rays broke down CO2 in Mars's atmosphere, leading to the creation of complex organic molecules. Such carbon-based complex molecules are the prerequisite of life. The building blocks of life, one might say, explains Professor Johnson. This is the egg, a prerequisite of life. It still remains to be shown whether or not this organic material resulted in life on the Red Planet. This discovery has profound implications not only for understanding Mars, but also for shedding light on the early conditions that may have led to the emergence of life on Earth. The key lies in the process of photolysis where UV light from the sun breaks down CO2 molecules into oxygen and carbon monoxide. On Mars, this process left behind a distinctive isotopic signature, which the researchers identified in both the Curiosity samples and a Martian meteorite known as Allen Hills 84001. This meteorite, found in Antarctica, contains carbon and minerals with a carbon isotope ratio that matches the predictions made by Johnson's team. The carbon in the Allen Hills meteorite is enriched in carbon-13, while the organic material found by Curiosity is depleted in carbon-13. This mirror image isotopic signature provided the missing piece of the puzzle, confirming the photolysis theory and linking the two samples despite being separated by over 50 million kilometers. This shows that carbon monoxide is the starting point for the synthesis of organic molecules in these kinds of atmospheres. So we have an important conclusion about the origin of life's building blocks, although so far only on Mars," said Johnson. The implications of this research extend beyond Mars. Earth, Mars, and Venus once had similar CO2-rich atmospheres, suggesting that photolysis could have played a crucial role in the formation of organic molecules on Earth as well. However, finding the same isotopic evidence on Earth has proven challenging due to our planet's dynamic geological activity, which has significantly altered its surface over billions of years. It is reasonable to assume that the photolysis of CO2 was also a prerequisite for the emergence of life here on Earth in all its complexity, says Johnson. But we have not yet found this smoking gun material here on Earth to prove that the process took place. The story of Mars, Earth, and Venus begins with their early atmospheres, formed from intense volcanic activity that released large amounts of CO2. As the sun's UV rays initiated photolysis, a chain of chemical reactions began leading to the creation of complex organic molecules. On Earth, these molecules eventually contributed to the rise of life, while Mars and Venus followed different paths. Today, Venus boasts a dense, toxic atmosphere with surface temperatures soaring to around 450 degrees Celsius. Mars, on the other hand, has a thin atmosphere, leaving its surface barren and desolate. Earth's atmosphere, dominated by nitrogen, transformed through interactions with water and the rise of life, which introduced oxygen and created an ozone layer. The Curiosity rover's findings not only enhance our understanding of Mars, but also offer a glimpse into the ancient processes that might have seeded life on Earth. As researchers continue to analyze these samples, they hope to uncover more clues about the origin of life's building blocks and the fundamental chemical reactions that made life possible. In the words of Professor Johnson, with the help of the sun, 
the foundation for many carbon compounds and complex molecules we have today was formed. In the case of Earth, the foundation for life. This discovery on Mars provides a vital piece of the puzzle, bridging the gap between planetary science and the origins of life as we know it.